people are saying that he's dead. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well. Uh, today, the bird is the word. One of my favorite uh, favorite types of meals, honestly. Just simple, very mono in nature. Uh, and just like very hassle free. Uh, I love the grocery store for roasting these up. $9. It, it's, this is a good amount of food for 9 bucks, And it's just, I love it. It's just a good, simple meal. I don't need anything else other than to go at least mildly savage, if not full savage, on a nice roast party, okay? So, we got the rotisserie chick, you know I come equipped with, obviously, Hidden Valley Ranch, a nice thick ramekin, large ramekin, and this is a peri-peri, like lemon-lime peri-peri, so nice little citrus kick to it, so I don't think it's going to be too, too spicy, which is nice because me and spice aren't the best of friends and uh before we do anything we must uh pour a uh, pa ha, ha, ha. so we got our burg front and center and we're back with a diet dr p dr p is the lifestyle and today we do have a light breach No, 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 no. That's like the volcano in grade seven when you do the science experiment. I got a light spill on the back end here, guys. I'm not going to lie, but it happened. I thought my pouring prowess was a little more proper than that, but I got to work on it, apparently. So the fountain of youth. Tastes like the crispy skin of a rotisserie chicken. And I'm here for it. Okay, so we top up. Do our chicken dance. I don't know what that is. We're going to do it. Man, why is my nose so itchy right now? So this guy is like a herb roasted one. There was barbecue in the herb roasted one. I'm I'm totally, totally about the herb roasted one. It just seems a little more my vibe. So we're gonna go in with a thigh off rip. Literally off rip, I literally ripping a thigh. Okay. We pile this chicken around. Look at that. So clean. And that just comes right apart. So, I was most excited for this peri peri sauce. So delicious. That citrus in there. Got nice herbs. Nice herbs in as well. Adjust ranch. Mmm. Wow. That's weird. I bought like the family bottle of Hidden Valley Ranch. Because you know you guys know I'm a ranch savage. And um uh,
I don't know. I want to say that that tastes almost better. That or I'm just very hungry. It could be that. There you go. Christmas dinner. Right up in your face. So we ranch and we parry. Mm-hmm. The bird's blocking the bite cam. Pull it to the side a little bit here. So today, I want to talk about something that has been playing on my mind for a little bit now. And I don't want to be out of pocket and be spreading any rumors or anything. So basically, none, I don't know if any of this is actually true. So don't take anything I say as facts or value you know truth and go spreading shit because I don't know anything for sure but I basically want to talk about the mystery conspiracy and disappearance of a fellow mukbanger named Tasty Motive uh, now I'll come right out and say it people are saying that he's dead People are saying that he got shot and is dead. Now, I'm sure a lot of you in my audience know who he is. Watch him. If you don't know who he is, he's a dude from California. He's about my age. He started his channel actually right around when I started mine. And him and I used to chat a bit. But we were supporters of each other's channel. In the early stages. I like him. I think he was a I think he is a good dude. Can't say was because I don't know what's true here, but over the years I've always been checking up on his channel. He's got kids and his girl Crystal. I don't think they ever got married, but they're pretty much they might as well be, you know what I mean? They were they're that deep. So him and his girl also like she started frequenting on his channel too and at some times like she would have her own videos on the channel and she was very interactive later on down the line with subscribers you know Like when he got busy, she'd keep things kind of running a little bit here and there. So anyways, I'm thinking to myself, where's this fool at? I haven't seen an upload from him in a while. I'm like, maybe YouTube's just being, you know, the little bitch that it is and not giving me notifications for his videos, right? So, I rolled over to his channel about two weeks ago, maybe, just to check up, and he hadn't uploaded in like over a month. With him 
That's weird. This dude has been very consistent from the get-go. And he has other socials, like his Instagram and stuff. And he's the type of dude that would never leave his subscribers not knowing what's happening, you know? But as of right now, on all the socials, it's gone quiet, no updates, no posts. Except for somebody posted in his most recent video back like two weeks ago, I saw they said that on IG, somebody had posted regarding him being shot and killed. But then the post was like removed or something like that. So that sounds like fishy bullshit to me. Because here's the thing. The internet trolls love to start the, the they died rumor. And I know this because when I took a break off my channel for like three months one time, I had people in my comments saying like, rest in peace, black hoodie. And people start starting the death rumor, which is fucked up to do. If you're listening to this and you've done that or do that, like just, what are you doing? That's not cool, that's not chill. You're stressing people out for no good reason. So, <clears throat> I'm all intrigued. I can start going through his comments, right? And it's, I'm finding a few consistent through throughout saying the same thing. Oh my God, I just got chicken in the face. So I'm like, damn, this is heavy. That's trip. That's trippy. If this is true, that's crazy. Because I like dude's channel, and you know, I seem like a good dad, and that would be terrible for the, his kids, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So. <clears throat> a fellow YouTuber that I have contact with, that also is in contact with him, reached out to me at random being like, yo, have you heard this stuff? I'm like, yeah, I'm just reading this now, this is crazy. And they were like, they're like, yeah, normally, like we text every so often and have a bit of a, a bit of a friendship. So it's like, and he, He's non-responsive on the text. So it's like everything's looking pretty suspect and adding up. Now, when I look through his comments, at, at the peak of people commenting, saying that shit, that he got shot. I remember looking at the number of comments and there was like 215 comments. About a week later, I checked up again to see, see if there's more or like if it's, you know, if it's confirmed, if it's true, whatever. And there was now like 185 comments. So somebody on like his end is going through and remo removing all those comments. 
stay in the ship. So that showed me that like somebody on his side had, had access and was like curating it. That said though, it could be crystal. Cause she was part of the channel. And she just, if it's true, which I hope it's not, she might just be keeping it in check until she was ever ready to say something or whatever, but who knows? So it's weird, man. A lot of little fishy things and just crazy, man. Like I don't, I, I really hope that's not true. I hope one day, soon, he randomly uploads and pops back up and says, I was just going through some hard times or something like that. You know, busy with life and maybe like family stuff, private stuff, personal stuff, even though he's very pretty open on his channel, which is another reason why it's weird. Is he really what, like, he wasn't the dude to really be not sharing much. He shared all about, like, his family's health issues and stuff. Like, his sister had issues. So it's strange for him to really just disappear considering... If he was going through some shit, I feel like he would definitely be talking about it on his channel. So, I don't know, man. If anybody out there has any information that's factual, let it be known because I'm intrigued to know if dude's alright or not I don't know man it's weird very weird Just sucking this thing dry, eh? Got it, though. Gotta respect the death of the animal. And get it for all it's, get it for all it's worth, you know? Also, I just uh, forgot to mention, but eating off this, I got this, like, gray washable kind of flimsy cutting board to top on top of this cutting board because I noticed that with like quite a lot of foods actually they resemble the tone of a cutting board and I feel like they blend in and they don't really pop so I'm hoping that this helps in making the the food like show more making it more apparent you know mm, I'm getting to the area of full but I want to be a champion And say that I got through this whole thing, but I am quite full.
I remember Quantran used to make ASMR videos with a whole roast chicken and he would literally suck it back like clean crevices of bones suck back the whole chicken in like under five minutes like so savage they definitely still exist if you go look go search for them Okay, well, I did it. Proud of you, buddy. Proud of you, black hoodie. Mm, nothing like a good, uh, good rotisserie chicken. And a perfect ice cold. Diet Doc P to wash her down. Hope you enjoyed that one. I hope Pasty Motive isn't deceased. So let's let's put out a little good positive energy for that. And uh, until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.